Hi, Phil Slazak here at SellerHomeForFree.com, a division of Amira Realty Expert Advisors. And today is going to be our first series in a part of seven, talking about for sale by owners and why you shouldn't, shouldn't sell your home on your own. And the most important thing we're going to cover today is, is uh, it's called the law of expertise, which is about pricing. Now, when you price your homes that are for sale by owner, where do you get your market value from? Are you going to Zillow.com? Are you looking at most recent sales? Are you using what an appraiser gave you? That's not really giving you the true value of your home. And we're going to cover that today. And hopefully when we're done with today's video, you're, under, you're going to understand why the law of expertise is so important to you in pricing your home. Now, as a for sale by owner, did you know that in 2011, the founder of for sale by owner, Colby Sambrato gave up on selling his own home after six months and listed it with a prominent broker who sold the home for above the asking price shortly thereafter. Now, this raised the all too obvious question. Can you really sell your own home and net more money? Now, market research shows that more than 80% of for sale by owners eventually list their home with an agent. Now, we understand why you want to do for sale by owner. You're attempting to save money on commission by selling yourself might be tempting, but the following law we're going to cover today and in the next six days might give you a better understanding of how to better your odds if you do decide to sell your home on your own. Now, today we're going to cover the law of expertise. It's about pricing your home. While the technology that is used in the real estate industry today is extremely current and effective in helping sellers navigate their overall real estate landscape, the same thing cannot be said about the strategies traditionally employed to help you determine the best price at which to sell your home. You see, the same old protocol for pricing that's been used for hundreds of years, a comparative market analysis for sure a CMA is still used today and it's literally killing seller's ability to maximize the sales price of your home. In fact, using a CMA is so detrimental to sellers getting top dollar that the average sale to list price of a home across the country is only 89%, a full 11% less than asking price and worth about 16000 $200 to the average home seller. The inherent, the inherent problem with a CMA is that it only takes consideration the sale of a small sample of homes in your competitive range without considering a reason why those homes that may or may not have sold at a specific price, for example, condition of the home, did the seller lose their job, was the home on a price? Was the interior outdated? Was it a divorce situation? How was a curb appeal to a home? Was the home vacant? Was the home staged? What this means in using a CMA to price your home is it really doesn't represent the reality of the true market value of your home, or worse, they, that may not even have an accurate bearing on what your home should be priced at, period. This is why the sell to list ratio is so low. A $16,210 is a huge chunk of change to be left on a table that you won't lose out on if you price your home correctly. The law of expertise states that only the, the only way to increase the value of your home and get top dollar, top dollar is to make sure you hire an agent from SellerHomeForFree.com who is a certified home selling advisor on the entire real estate market and the factors that will and won't impact the actual price, sales price of your home. You see, under law of expertise, we will consider as many as, many as 27 separate outside threats to the likelihood that your home will sell at a specific price, including the law, including the list of threats, including the list of threats are Excuse me a second. No, it's not a commercial for Subway. Economic indicators, 
What bearing does our overall local and state economy have on a housing market in your area? Trends and analysis. Are the current market trends more or less favorable for the style, location, demand, etc., for your home? For example, are people wanting to move downtown and be close to the action where there's a lot of restaurants and activity going on? Or if your home's a mile out? There's a difference in price, and this is part of the trends analysis. Also, absorption rates within a local market. <clears throat> is there a regular consumption of homes in your local market? And if so, how many homes a month are being purchased? To inventory distressed properties, how many homes are, are distressed sales, like bank all homes, divorce sales, and what effect are they having on the overall prices of homes in your market? Rent versus buy trends. Are people more inclined to buy a home or rent a property in your market? And what is the ratio of rents to purchase in your, in your area? Job stability in the market. Unemployment. Is there a stable job market in your, in your area? Or are major employers coming to or leaving your area at the time you want to sell your home? Sell your home. Under these, understand these threats and knowing how to communicate them to you is in, is crucial in, in a, is crucial part of pricing your home. While pricing your home, the expert advisor at sellerhomeforfree.com will do a thorough review of the supply and demand within your marketplace so as, as to leave no stone unturned when helping you determine the absolute best price for your home. In reviewing supply and demand, we will consider the total number of homes on the market, homes that are entering the market, homes that are selling per month in your price range, as well as a total number of homes selling per month in your neighborhood. Then once your home is listed and priced properly, we will continue to review the overall supply and demand in your market and evaluate the absorption rate data weekly as new competition comes on the market. Plus, we will employ an ongoing system to reevaluate the market conditions until your home sells. In most situations where a CMA is used to get your home sold, you will find out you would not get the right price that you would need for your home and what your home should be selling for. And you will often get the price without a thorough review of your current situation and the market as a whole. Using a price, a price and model like a CMA is like asking a doctor giving you medical advice and treatment solutions without properly defining the scope of your illness. In medical terms, in the medical world, diagnosis prior to prognosis is, my, is malpractice. And the same can be said about this pricing strategy in the real estate industry. So our tip for the day is when it comes to pricing your home, you, you can't just rely on recent sales, Zillow.com, or even recent appraisals. A much more comprehensive look at the market is needed. Create a plan to accomplish your home selling goals. Now, this is our series number one today. Tomorrow, we'll be, we'll be going over how to make your home stand out different on the market. You have any questions, go to sellourhomeforfree.com, or you can call me directly at 919-607-4844, and you have a wonderful day.